Hi everybody and welcome to video four in our Gothic Circus lamp book series. Now, um, don't forget to visit the Sweet Pea Papers Facebook group and the Junk Journal Tutorials and more Facebook group for all kinds of fun and events and all kinds of good stuff. So, what we're going to do today, we're going to work some more on the inside. And um, we're going to go to... Where are we going? Ah, we're going here. Okay. So, I've got this page, and I haven't inked anything because we're not going to be able to use the full page. And then I have this backing paper, which I like a lot. And what we're going to do is we're going to measure this. To the width, the height is fine. Okay, so we want it about here. Hopefully I'll be able to see that. Nothing else, the shininess of the lead on the paper. Yep, there it is. And that should give us the right width. Okay, so let's ink it. Someone pointed out to me that the reason we have little pieces of foam flying off of these is because they're meant to be blending tools and not to be used like this. Which is totally true, and I don't know why I never thought about it that way. But we're literally scraping them off as we go. So I guess we can't complain. We're definitely not using them to blend. We could go like this, I guess. We were careful. And that would just make a dent down the middle, I guess. We've got our magnet on. We already did that. Remember when we did the magnet for this up here? For this up here? We did the magnet that goes with it down here. Now I realize it's going to be kind of hard to keep a lot of this in camera just because of the nature of it. I'm trying to keep everything moving around the way it's supposed to be but um, and I'll try to work on each page here in the middle. What we're going to do here is we're going to make a pocket and I was going to make it here and move it in just to do something different instead of just making a long pocket down the side. So let's do that. Let's measure the height we want. We don't want it to go all the way up. We're going to put it in. Well, maybe we can move it all the way up. Oh, well, that's part of the problem. Okay. Hmm. Let's do it this way. Let's make the smart move. Let's cut this paper in half. first, which I should have folded it the other way, but, all right, you know, right in the middle of that hat, making this and listening on the radio at the same time about that bridge that collapsed in Baltimore by the time you see this. 
um, it will have been two months past, but um, it really is awful listening to it on the radio. Go up to here. And we'll go about to here. So let's do this part first. It's almost going to be the width of a belly band, isn't it? So I like it this direction. So let's glue. I just filled my glue, so it's going to be crazy coming out. And right off the edge. And then we'll make that into a pocket, or it is a pocket. We could have almost made a tuck. This paper clip down here is the other third of our book. We haven't glued anything on yet. And I didn't put a card there during our time away, which has actually been a whole day. I don't like to skip a day. When I start a project, I like to get them done. A couple videos a day. But um, yesterday that just wasn't possible. It was the kickoff of the um, A Fairy Spring collaboration. So I had lots of videos going, or a lot, um, a lot of things going. And we had chats, you know, in the collab going. Everybody was posting their kickoff video location so everybody could go make sure to go watch and see. Of course, all the links whenever there's something like that or in any time because I'm real good about the links um, most of the time uh, are uh, under the videos. But still, it's fun to go right away and see your friends' videos. And you should do that too. Whenever you see a collaboration or something like that, you should jump right over and see all my friends' videos, collaborators' videos if I don't know them. 
consider them my friends still. Um, yeah. Okay, so we've got that. We'll make something to go in this pocket. Unless... Unless we already have... We have this ticket. Which will fit. We're definitely going to have to reprint the ephemera so that we have enough. Because if we put these two in here... I think this one should go on a page. These tags are too wide. Well, actually, those really aren't. Yeah, they are. Well, I'm going to wait for the glue to dry. I don't want to stick anything in there and then have it stuck in the glue. So we'll need a card for here and here. I'm going to have to go back through already. We're going to open this. We've got page two. Video four, page two, that is. Okay. And so we've got these papers that we're going to use. I've inked up the CD cover. Okay, this is the paper and I've inked it up. And we're going to put the CD cover on it, only we're going to put it to where it flips up. And then we can see all this image here on the bottom. Whereas if we had it go from the side, it would cover up, you know, part of the picture. So we want it to be from the center down. So we don't have to um, add the saran part of the image, but we do have to um, cut a hole for the front. So let's do that. First, we're going to fold this in half and make two halves out of it. And that saves us a sheet to use for later instead of accidentally cutting it in half the wrong way and then not being able to use it. So... We'll use this half, and then this half seems to have a little more, because we're going to cut a big hole in it. So we'll use the one side that doesn't have quite as many features on it. We'll save the side with the writing on it to use for later. Now we will measure this. Now remember, we're going to have to have a side pocket on this one, and um, it's going to go in the middle and be open to the left, if I remember correctly. Mm-hmm, open to the left, so we'll have to put the pocket on the left. this from here to here. And then from there to there. And in fact, let's give it a little bit extra. So we can cut it for the pocket. And then let's put a P here. Up at the corner so we know that that's the pocket side. 
this is something new. We'll give it a whirl to see how it works out. Because with these pieces, they're not quite um, square. So we will see how uh, this goes. make the hole biggest circle out of here because I lost I think there was one bigger I don't really see how I could have lost it though but some of my other sets my um, scalloped edge sets have one size bigger they have a four inch so we'll see this one's the three works perfect for these. So I'm going to put this on here and I'll eyeball it and then put this on top of it on the big shot. This is going to jiggle the camera. going to give us a circular card, which is always nice to have. They fit well. That might even fit good in our um, little pocket that we just made. Let's put this away. Hmm, I just had an omelet and it's just now kind of setting in my tummy and making me a little sleepy. We already inked the outside, thank goodness. So now all we have to do is the inside. And since we're making it grunge, we don't have to be super careful. Super careful, agi careful, agilistic, expialidocious. That was bad. Okay. We know which way it goes on. Yeah, I think that's going to be a good idea. Mm, I didn't take. I didn't put the cover back on. It wasn't off that long, so hopefully everything will be fine. Oh, we need to put the uh, acetate on first. Doing it. 
We'll measure it against this since there's glue on that. Can't believe I forgot. Or almost forgot. this over here and try not to get it on my sleeve. My new craft room sweater or apartment sweater. Sorry about the reach across the camera. Okay, now let's do this one more time. Only this time we're going to go a little bit farther in and catch the acetate as well. Actually, I made the acetate as big as the CV cover on this one. In fact, I made it bigger. I didn't trim it, so I'll have to trim it with the scissors. glue it again glue it onto this I stuck my finger in the glue pocket up there and if you remember we left a little bit extra up there so that we could trim the side okay so now let's trim this for our pocket oh I forgot to set aside paper for the for the inside. Okay, so now we have a side pocket, which caught this top here. So 
uh, I think we'll catch it when we put the back paper on. Let's do the inside paper while we have all this access. It's going to need to be on the back here. That's the paper. It's the CD back. CD front is this color. So let's do We did this in the back. And when we did it this way, that would fit pretty well. Very close to being exactly what we need. Sure the width. We're going to cut the width first so we have that bigger scrap to work with, which is going to give us this size. We have one of this size of that too. Probably make a nice stacked pocket. And then let's see how we're doing in here. What did I do? Okay. I'm sure it has to do with the um here but yeah that's right okay let's take a little bit off trying to put this L in the upper left corner, which is where I had it when we measured it. Okay. Now is this cut crooked or is it just, there we go. Okay, let's um, really only need to glue this side right here. card in and out. We've got the backing paper. Then we'll do this. This is going to be the top. And then it's going to be hooked down like that. So it's going to flip up like this. This is going to be the top, not that. So we're going to want to measure from this corner. Now this one we want to measure right up to the edge so that we 
catch that corner and glue it. Oops. See? And I want to show all of the woman, so I want to put her in the corner. Now we are going to leave a border on the sides. And the bottom, we're just going to push that top up a little bit. down there so we got to trim a little bit more off the bottom. This should be correct. Looks like it might be a little long still. Now let's take a smidge off the bottom. About a sixteenth. along the bottom and we need quite a bit of glue here or we want it close to the edge as possible. So that we catch that plastic part and don't have to go back in and try to glue it. in at the bottom. You know, today's Tuesday, which I don't know what day you'll be watching this, but 
for me right now. Today's Tuesday. And earlier, yeah, see, it didn't catch. I don't think. Earlier today, I was thinking, well, at least today's Saturday. I have no idea why my brain is not functioning on the right or the correct day of the week. Okay. So this is a little off here. So we'll put the glue on here. make a card for this off camera. That way we don't have to use up our time just making cards. Oh, I didn't put the magnet on. Don't have time to peel this back because there's so much glue on there. Yes. Boy, we got lucky there. Definitely didn't want a Velcro dot, you know, in the middle here. Getting some glue oozing. I'm gonna put the magnet on the back. So I'm definitely going to have to make some cards between this video and the next video because otherwise I'm going to get too far behind and then I'm going to do nothing but make cards for days. I don't really want to do that. We're going to end up with an area that we're going to have to, we're going to put a tab and we could put a um, charm on the tag, but I'm not sure about it laying flat. So we can always go back and add a hole in the tab on the uh, card. Wow, I got big clumps of glue on my fingers. So let's go ahead and glue this in. If this is the first time you've watched me, I put kind of little puddles of glue in the corners of the pages so I can slide them around and get them in the exact spot. This uh, Fabri-Tac glue does not glue immediately like the uh, Art Glitter glue does. So that's either a plus or a minus depending on what you're trying to do. Now, I see it as a plus always. <laughs> And I use Fabri-Tac for everything. So, um, yeah. There we go. See, we'll slide it back that way. We'll be able to see the roses all the way around. So that's cool. Okay. So it goes on that page there.
and let's glue the hair in there. And then we'll put a pocket, I mean a tag card there. Do we need one here? Yes, we need one here. And we need one here. Yes, I'm going to have to start making cards. I put the lady on here and the word amazing. I'm getting excited. I love the circus. Um, video four, page three, which is this page right here. And it's a fairly straightforward piece, mostly, or page, mostly. We're going to use uh, this paper, the butterflies, to make a belly band. It matches this here. I know I'm a little matchy-matchy, but that's the way it goes. I've inked the paper, so I've inked around the edges. And we're going to make a belly band. We're, we're going to make a wide enough belly band that we can put a window in it. So let's close this up. And we're going to take this paper and we're going to put the belly band from here to here and it's going to be this long these are going to be hard to see And it's too long for me to... No, it isn't. What am I doing? All I have to do is put the butterflies the opposite way. Where's my mark? There it was. Let's cut this paper in half. save half of it to work on another page. Make is our page or something. I'm just pinching the top. That gives me a spot to make a line with my pencil right on the ridge. Some of you may be able to see the ridge without putting that little pencil mark there, but I can't. So we're going to put the little pencil mark cut it in half and once again that gives me another page so now let's remeasure it if it's a belly band it's got to be this high we want it wide enough for a window hmm This wide. Yeah, that's going to be right. And we'll make it this tall. Oh, the height's going to be right. So all we have to do is cut the width, which is pretty much cutting this paper in half, kind of making a nice big fat belly band. Let's see if we have enough room to put a window in it. Okay, that one doesn't have a small enough piece. This one does. I think that one will do. All we want to do is basically see the paper through it. So we don't need anything fancy. 
just put this we could do one at the top and one at the bottom huh that would be kind of fun wouldn't it let's try it let's see if we can do it we got the other butterfly half which is smaller so we could just put it on as a belly band if we wanted to if we don't have success with this personally I don't care if they're exactly lined up and perfectly straight because they're squiggly lined and to me that means random and I never get them straight anyway sorry for the jiggle I had two the same size I would have put one above the other and used my little uh, washi tape but I don't take this piece out let's flip it around and see if we have enough room mm-hmm we have plenty of room I'm just eyeballing it, so I don't think one could possibly line up with the other. Jiggle, jiggle. Thud. Okay, two thuds. Three. <laughs> So I'm just fibbing all around. Well, that's pretty darn close, I must say. I do say so myself. Now we've got two butterfly tags. I think those might fit in that pocket that we had earlier. Let's ink everything. Now if I was smart, I would have inked the outside edges of this before. I needed to ink the, you know, cut out the holes because it would have been easier, would have been sturdier on, around the outside. So let's see how it goes. It isn't so bad if we do it the, the other way instead of, you know, flicking it. We just slide it along and ink it or blend it as the person mentioned to me is the better way to go than flicking the black all over of course I don't really do the corners as grungy that way I don't know if Gothic is quite as grungy or if it's just the dark. Okay. Anyway, it's terrible about that bridge. Looks like there's cars in the water and people in the water. It's only 42 degrees outside. It's just going to be bad. We had construction workers on the bridge because it was 1.30 in the morning. And they usually work on stuff like that overnight. can't imagine that wouldn't have disrupted one lane of traffic at least anyway so it just depends on how big it was so maybe they got lucky with 
the number of construction workers and stuff that were on the bridge, but apparently big chunks of the bridge are in the water. All I can do is listen to MSNBC. I can't see it. I can't watch it on my TV. I can watch, listen to it on Sirius XM, which I totally am grateful for. Otherwise, I would have to pay a whole cable bill just to be able to watch it. Which is not quite what I want to do. Well, that looks nice. We need to turn it this way so our butterflies at the top are right side up and then to the bottom. That's going to be cool. All right, let's put our acetate on the back. And we're going to want to cover the whole thing so we don't get caught, you know, putting the papers in and out. So we're going to cover the whole back of the um, belly band with the acetate. It looks like, no, nope, we still have just a little bit to cut off. Do the length first and cut that little slice off. And we'll cut it in half or a third and two thirds. <laughs> you know, um, I color my hair. Shh, don't tell anybody. And um, I color my hair really early in the morning because I'm already up and I take a shower that early. So I'm going to need to uh, color my hair that early. So I'm coloring my hair at one o'clock in the morning. It's hysterical. I'm in the bathroom trying to see what I'm doing with my bleary little eyes. <laughs> so now I'm sitting here with wet hair pulled up in a bun. Freshly colored, just for you who can never see it. Well, you do see it on the monthly updates. This last one was pretty bad. I mean, I'm not super vain. It's not like I don't want to have gray hair. I don't mind it, actually. The roots are in the front, the temples and everything. But the whole gray... I tried it, I grew it out, and it just didn't look right. It was too light. Um, not that, like I said, not the fact that it was gray, just the fact that the color was too light compared to the color I've worn since I was 20. Oh, look at what I, oh no, I did that right. Let me put the acetate on. I almost thought I had glued the um, whole belly band by mistake. Okay. Shoot. And that glue coming out everywhere. that dries I try to scrape it off sometimes you can getting some of it off 
Here we go. Just using my fingernail, going back over the Fabri-Tac that's on the acetate, I'm getting most of it up. all of it up. There were a couple spots down here on the front side. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get them off. For some reason, Fabri-Tac and Acetate are a little forgiving. We have glue on the acetate if you catch it right away before it dries completely. Okay. Now let's glue the top and the bottom for the belly band part. And flip it over. center to be right side up. No, we want the top to be right side up. That makes the bottom right side up. Put that center, we'll put some kind of a card. Maybe we'll even put the um, rest of this butterfly paper in here as a card. And you won't even know until you pull it out that the envelopes, I mean that this is there. Or we could make a large envelope and put it in there. I'm not sure which we're going to do. glue this in here and then we'll be right on time for our time. We get all three pages done. So it looks like it could be trimmed just a little bit at the top. We did three pages in an hour. Well, that worked out well. A bit longer than 15 minutes a page. Could have done a little quicker, I think. But three pages of video, believe it or not, was actually my goal. We'll see how well we do with some of the more difficult pages. I want to make sure we put the page in right side up after we went to all that trouble to make sure the belly band was right side up. If we put the paper in upside down, we've defeated our purpose. Our special purpose. <laughs> on it. Okay. Cool. With the belly band with I can't believe these almost lined up. This one is just a little crooked. And that's the only reason they don't line up. This part lines up. But then it kind of goes off that way a little bit. Okay. Well that's going to be it for this video. Let me move this out of the way so you can see what we've done. And I will see you in the next video. And that will be just a second for you and a day for me. Okay? Alrighty then. Bye-bye.